All right, now, my prediction is that within the next few generations, we will have no actual workforce. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this. And one of the reasons, people want to blame technology and AI and all that kind of stuff. And, and yet, technology and artificial intelligence are going to create, actually going to create new jobs. They're going to take some away, but they're going to create some new ones. But the reason why we're not going to have an actual workforce is that right now, companies, corporations want to give less and expect more. Now, here's the thing. Gen Xers like myself, we are the last hardworking generation that's actually still in the workforce. Our bo- there are parents who are boomers, they're retired, okay? We are the last hardworking generation, okay, as far as good work ethic goes, as far as jobs go. Uh, our Most of our children are millennials, and some are Gen Zs. Well, the millennials kind of, you know, for the, a lot of them kind of rebelled against our work ethic, and... Um, and I'm not trying to blame people, but this is where a lot of entitlement started from, and it started seeping into the next generation with the Gen Zs. Now, the Gen Zs, they have a good work ethic if it comes to anything but jobs, okay? And then again, if you're a Gen Z, I'm not trying to pick on you. It's just that for the most part, and the reason why is you guys have more choices than I had when I was younger, okay? You have more choices, so why would you want to work at a job for, you know, $15, $16 an hour when you can make, you know, five, six, seven, eight grand a month doing something online okay so honestly why who would i wouldn't i'd be doing stuff online you know screw jobs right but because the work ethic of a gen z is low when it comes to jobs and that companies nowadays want to give less and expect more okay what's gonna happen is once us gen xers retire okay once our generation is out of the workforce we've retired and the millennials are still in there the millennials are getting their retirement and the gen z's are are the main workforce and the alphas, okay? They're the main workforce, and we got people that, that don't have a strong work ethic when it comes to jobs. And we have companies that want to keep on giving less and less and less. Eventually what's going to happen is everyone's going to go online and do stuff from home online, and companies are going to be left with nothing. They're going to have to rely 100% on technology and artificial intelligence to stay open. Or... It, it, or eventually, hopefully, have some people that are actually going to do their jobs and, and stay. So that's the thing, is that companies are giving less and expecting more, and the newer workforces have a lower work ethic when it comes to jobs. And again, it's not an insult, it's just a fact. Have a lower work ethic when it comes to jobs than myself and, and past generations. So you're going to have, again, you're going to have companies that, that don't want to give you anything for your job, for your work, and then you're going to have people that don't want to give anything to earn their money. They just want to just show up and just get paid. They don't want to offer any extra value in the workplace. And the companies don't want to offer any extra value as far as your paychecks go. So what's going what's to happen? Well, what's going to happen is we're going to have no people working. We're going to have everything that has... Everything will, everything will have to be automated through technology and AI because there will be nobody to work because, number one... They don't want to work a job because they're going to get paid less than they could doing something from home, online. And because companies don't want to pay wages, they want to pay people what they're worth. So why pay people when you can actually just set up an automated system and pay AI, not really pay AI, but pay to have AI developed to do the job for you. And then people will still come to your store, your restaurant, whatever, and still you know buy your stuff. But your labor is down to zero. For the most part. Okay? That's just my thoughts on this, guys. Um, I could be wrong. could be right. This is what I see. This is what I see. Because I work with people who are young and have a great work ethic. And I work with some that are young and have a shitty work ethic. And the company I'm with, my job I'm at right now, they are always off, always wanting... It seems that they're always wanting more and never giving anything back for it. Because they're always wanting more for little. Okay? And that's, that's going to be a problem, guys. It's going to be a problem in the future. So that's my thoughts, guys. I uh, hope you have a great day, and see you in the next video.